Well, Zion just announced that he will not be playing in the Orlando Disney bubble. Now you're probably wondering, like I was, what the hell? Why is he not playing? What's going on? Well, Zion Williamson is leaving for a family medical emergency. I have no idea what this is, but let's be honest, we want to respect his privacy and let's not poke into that. But I have a couple suspicions. Is he injured? Are the Pelicans covering up? What's going on? Well, let's go along the lines for the sake of argument that he's not injured and this is really is a family emergency. Well, let's see. What could this mean for Zion Williamson and the Pelicans? Well, the NBA quarantine rules. Everyone hates them. But the rules are 10 days before play. Can't play without a 10-day quarantine. Also, you need to get two negative COVID-19 tests. However, if you are leaving due to a family emergency, and, well, a family emergency includes a birth of a child, a death in the family, or other medical or personal emergency. So, Zion left for a family emergency. This means that he could undergo a three-day quarantine. And best case scenario, well, best case scenario is that he returns before or on July 26th. This way he can undergo a three-day quarantine and he doesn't miss a single bubble game. However, this is highly unlikely because we all know the seriousness of a family emergency. So, what do I think is likely? I think he won't return on time, How, and maybe he won't return at all. So, this is what it means for the Pelicans, the league, and what it means for Portland and Sacramento. This is what I'm going to be going over. Well, what it means for the Pelicans. The Pelicans are currently sitting tied with Sacramento and Portland to try to get at Memphis for that eight seed. They're competing and they cannot afford to lose a single game or they'll be out of contention for the eight seed. And well, without Zion, I don't think their chances of losing any games no games are high now next let's look at what it means for the nba well the nba literally arranged their schedule so we could see more zion and we could get zion in the playoffs now that zion's not playing what do they do they can't exactly tell espn cbs and abc here you go you were expecting zion but we give you Brandon ingram josh hart and lonzo ball they won't like that, and, well, we won't like that either. The NBA will lose a lot of ratings, and, well, you, you know what follows. Also, the rest of the league will have it easy not having to play Zion. Now, what it means for Portland and Sacramento. Portland and Sacramento, like I mentioned earlier, are the two teams competing with the Pelicans for that eighth seed. So, Portland and Sacramento... Don't have to compete with Zion for the 8th seed. They've got themselves an easy target for the 8th seed. And they got a higher chance of making it. They are currently tied with the Pelicans f with, at 4.5 games back from the 1 seed. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Gotta go. Oh, it's oh, it's got it. Oh, the pass is beautiful read. Drew saw it all the way. Young man, okay, you look at, oh man, that's a great read. That is a great read by both Drew and also by Zion. The moment that he sees Hassan Whiteside cover the roll, who is Derek Favors rolling down the middle. Effort by Cruz. For Zion. Lonzo Ball has perfected that with Williamson. Okay. into the paint, missed the layup. And back come the Pelicans on the run out. They've got numbers, Williamson. Boy, he exploded over and through Kleba. Lonzo Ball recognizes, okay, I got a big who can handle the ball and is special when he's got a little bit of space. The rebound and now runs the break. Makes a great pass to Etwan Moore. And Moore gets the layup, giving Williamson his third assist and forcing Greg Popovich to call a timeout.
Pushing the basketball like a point guard, unselfish play, putting other guys in position. Ball with the deuce. Pelshire in at 24 assists, 30 makes Zion. Go for it, brother! The Pelicans up one, they go to Williamson, facing up and driving and smashing the rim! Clean up on aisle five! Well, how about they coming up with Zion? He's got Lonzo in the corner and he saw him early. Great look for three. Hold yes. that follow through, Lonzo. Yes. Hold he, that follow through. He posed. That's right. Now, Drew. He finds Zion. Hammers it home with the right hand. This is that basketball with Drew Holiday, which creates a three-on-two opportunity. And there's that man. 60 a game of the paint. That's serious. And Drew took it away from John Morant. Watch Zion weak side. Watch he Zion weak side. Comes. Yes, he's Watch got Zion it. Zion weak side. Some foot doing a hesitation right there inside. Ghosted him. Oh, oh Zion answers on the other. The Warriors want to take every chance they can get to evaluate him in those 10 days. Zion got the triple. Ooh. How about Ooh. that number he just did? It's gone by in the second quarter in an eight point lead. Drew coming on the curl. The lob. Zion. How about that adjustment? It was behind him on his way down. He did that. Form on the three. Again, you see the advancement of the basketball. Pull through. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. That's a nice shot.